this one's called Choose to Believe. I woke up dizzy this morning. When will the world stop spinning? Will gravity reverse this curse that I feel swallows me periodically? If I stop the thoughts from turning, will I come to a standstill with anxiety and embrace the new beginnings? Or will depression sucker punch me to my knees? Will I float to the ceiling and pretend life has a new meaning? Why is darkness so uncomfortable to witness in others? We always want to hear the good news, right? And we turn away when someone answers shitty to, how are you? This is why depression is hard. We feel we burden others, so we hold it in. My energy is tapped. I feel captive, strangled by an energetic cord until I pick up the pen and write. This is the medicine that feels right. And it's not a cry for help. It's what goes on in the minds of those that embrace the dark, see it for its beauty and spark. I feel suppressed emotions. The tears well up and then disappear. Is this grief bubbling up to the surface and too scared to show its face in the mirror? I feel numb, but not comfortably numb. It's not like Pink Floyd. <laughs> it's blah, blah, dead zone, tired, dumb. It's not like smoking a jade, because fuck, that would be fun. But healing is uncomfortable. Like, <laughs> Is this what depression feels like? Like it's quiet and lonely yet? loud in my head and I feel like I'm shrinking, sinking to the bottom of the ocean thinking I wonder if anyone would notice. I try to listen intently to the whispers of my ancestors or the advice I gave to others when they felt like this, but the wise words just slipped through my fingers. Come on, I said to myself, you know what to do. This too shall pass. A voice from God said, go into nature and let her hug you. Embrace every trace of beauty that is laced with love. It will pick you up and shine the sun from above. Woo! And give yourself grace in this lonely place. You are not alone. The spirit is trying to bring you back home. These negative thoughts, they're not you. So don't let them stick like glue. Your heart, your heart, too big to sink to the bottom. It will float like a balloon back to the surface where you can breathe again. That's right. I heard that voice again. What do you desire? Hmm. Well, I want to feel loved. Okay, then love yourself. Do the things that make you happy. Because all this is temporary. Spoiler alert. When you wake up tomorrow, it will be different. But now, if you need to cry, then cry. Let out the tears you've been holding back for years, pretending to have it all together. Broken promises and dreams and fears you can't seem to let behind you. Living vicariously through others that appear to have made it from the outside, but suffer alone in their big homes that they think they own. <laughs> and this dead end you feel you're at, it's an awakening. So it's time to wake up from the slumber of a rock bottom some people would wish for. Your mama didn't teach you to sit back and watch the world go by, sitting, feeling sorry for yourself as you watch the tears go by. So stand tall and remember who you are. You are made from the stars. But it's okay to let the emotions flow like the river, like that absolutely apparent of. <laughs> but just don't get swept up by the current of the victim. She will knock you out when least expected, drag you through the mud until you don't recognize yourself anymore. Who are you? Who are you under this cloak that's soaked with precious gems sitting silently under this chestnut oak with sunstroke? I get it. You're exhausted and fucking hot. <laughs> so if the soul doesn't age with the body, why do we try to convince ourselves that we are in the same timeline as the wrinkles on our face? Right? Did we misplace our carefree grace? I will forever play it. The five-year-old in me is here for freedom. <laughs> that teaches us laughter is healing, and the giggles never get old when you're roller skating. So, when life grants you with words, like these beautiful words tonight, and music that's healing, 
chop that shit up. <laughs> Toss the salad, bite into the juice before it goes sour. I realized that the wisdom squeezed from the fruit of life takes time to nurture the seeds. It's teaching us presence for all that we see. And between you and me is a split second, you see. And believe me, this is the journey to be. I don't always see beauty when I hurry. <sighs> as the rose is blurred as the sun drifts across the screen. But when I stop and breathe, I can see that I'm free in this moment if I choose to believe. The next topic as poet of the week since February. Yes. <laughs> Can you please? Yeah. Okay, um, I have to think about it off the top of my dome, and I know that I don't have much time. You so only have eight months. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's do let's do kryptonite. 